Okay, so I'm going to talk to you about completing the square. I'm going to do my best to explain this uh, topic. I know that in class you're sitting there going, what is going on? Why do they do this? And how do they know to move something over? I'm going to show you two different things. Um, one, I'm going to explain a little bit about uh, moving geometric figures around and how algebra itself really is nothing more than playing with like little Lego pieces, okay? So to start, um, think of, let's say the number two, okay? In algebra, they just say two is just two, right? In reality, what it means geometrically is like the length of some type of uh, distance. It's the length of something, okay? It's actually the base of a square box, okay? Because when you take the square root of a number, you're actually changing from a square box to, a, uh, to the base of it. And now when you square, now going back to this 2, let's say you have uh, this 2 squared. Well, we know it's 4, but the 4, what, it's, what it means geometrically is that you've made um, a square box, okay? So basically, this is 2 and this is 2. When you multiply the 2, which is the same as 2 times 2, which is equal to 4, that's where the 4 comes from, okay? 1, 2, 3, 4. Now, knowing that, you know how you have binomials, um, like a plus b? Well, this is the a and this is the b. It just happens in this one here, they're both the same. Okay, fine. So you have a plus b, a plus b, right? Because if this is 4 squared, if this, is, if this side is 2, that means this is 1 and this is 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. So a plus b times a plus b, that's a plus b quantity squared. And in completing the square, that's initially what you're trying to get on one side is that equal to some kind of number, right? So let's do this. I, I came up with this example because it's probably the easiest and most intuitive way to kind of understand what you're doing. So I came up with this problem. Um, x squared plus 4x, now don't hate me for this, but plus n, okay? Just, if, if you want, it could be like 1 or 3 or, or something, right? Um, but in any which case, plus n is equal to 0, okay? So, what we're going to do is subtract the n and put it on the other side, okay? So, minus n and plus blank, plus blank, and copy these down. So you're taught to cut the coefficient in half and then take the uh, square of that and write it here and write it here, which is going to be 2 squared, which is 4, right? 4 divided by 2. I'm taking half of the coefficient of the middle term, which is 2, and then I square it and I put 4 here. But I'm going to write this as, as 2. And this side here is going to be written as 4. Okay, so now... Bear with me, okay? Some people think this is really cool, but um, I'm hoping you'll you'll kind of get the idea. X squared. Remember how I said that like two is really the base of a of a of a square box, okay? And this is going to be kind of weird for some of you guys, but it, it took a while for me to kind of uh, figure out a way to explain this, and I think this particular problem is going to be good uh, to uh, explain this idea. This X symbolizes this base of a square box and when you square it you're making a square box and that's going to be x squared okay plus 4x this is where it's kind of weird um, when you go from algebraic expression to geometric interpretation it's a, a really huge quantum leap of uh, thought process okay um, it's really abstract. So 4x really, if this is x, it's actually four of them, right? So here's 1x, here's 2x's, here's 3x's, here's 4x's, right? Yeah, it is one line, but just, you know, to get the idea. This is your 4x. Plus 2 squared, which is, is this, plus 2 squared, so it's saying that you have 1, 
2 and you're squaring it so it's 1, 2. Well that makes a square box, right? That makes a square box. Okay. So eventually, you know how this right here, x squared plus 4x plus 2 squared, which is 4, you know how they in, in class they teach you, they tell you, okay, now you factor it out. Well, just copy the x down. Okay, bring this sign. So basically, copy the x, bring down whatever sign you have, and write it here. And take this number and just write it right here. And this is going to be squared, right? Now this is factored form of this. Okay, now this is the cool part. Um, anyway, this is equal to negative n plus 4, or just 4 minus n. Okay, now, how is this represented uh, geometrically? Well, you see this, you see this uh, square box here, the 2 squared? That's, that's this right here. Okay, what we're going to do is take this piece right here, this shaded piece, and bring it down. Okay, so it's going to tilt. So let's do this. Let's move it this way. Okay. Actually, this is probably a little shorter, and it's probably a little longer than I wanted it to be, but here, let's just kind of fix that a little bit. Okay. So, oh, and then let's get rid of this part. We don't really need this here. Okay. So, and what's really more important is this part right here. This part. And this part here. Because this is 2, right? From here to here is 2, right? And from here to here is 2, right? If you take this x squared, okay, and you put it inside of here, okay, you have x, x here, right? Look at this, x plus 2, x plus 2. This is x right here, so now I'm going to do the whole thing in red here so you can see it. This is x plus 2. This is x plus 2. And x plus 2, the quantity squared, x plus 2, the quantity squared is this. Cool, huh? So that's basically what it is. And then what it equals to is actually the, the actual area of this box in here. Okay? So um, let me see. Uh, I have another video where I actually go over two more problems because this took a while for the understanding. Um, so look for the other video and there I'm going to do two other problems and they get progressively harder but this one really is kind of just a basic idea. Um, so check out the other video.